everyone, Darren here, and uh, on today's episode of Map Awareness 23rd installment slash guess technically also gameplay critique uh, installment number four, I have no idea what to title this, uh, we're going to have a little bit of mix of both in this, <laughs> um, but anyway, we are joined here by Gizmo with numbers on his name, he honestly has so many numbers on his name that I'm just going to call him Gizmo. And his full gamer tag will be in the title. Um, but this replay, he is on steps in, uh, it's a standard battle. He's on the south spawn. And he's in a girl 15, which he had informed me at the time of this replay. He was uh, either just starting to play the vehicle, because he just got it, or he was, um, or he just infrequently played it so either way he's very inexperienced in the vehicle at the time of this replay um also like to quiv a quick disclaimer i am trying out this recording with my new uh mic the the stream mic that you might have seen uh from the stream earlier today um but uh again not a whole lot to talk about right now he is doing his, the usual grill thing of sitting in the back and sniping. Now, unfortunately, this is again, this is a little bit of a mix of both a critique and a um, and a map awareness here. Um, the mistake here that he did make was that he got lit up and he decided to fully just rotate and go off the uh, over roll down the slope instead of just backing up and rolling down the slope, which honestly even though the reverse speed is much slower, would have been faster to do than simply just rotating the entire tank and then going, driving forward down the, the slope. So, yes. But anyway, real quick, while we watch him reposition, I'm testing out this new mic. So if you have any, if this sounds really bad or off or you don't like it, I will revert back to uh, using the very old cheap headset that I've been using. But, um, again, not really a whole lot to talk about here. Um, while we just watch and watch a sniper do snipe things, um, or sniper things, or snipey things, however you like to say it. Um, this gameplay is going to be a mix of a map awareness, especially closer to the end of the later in the game, and also a gameplay critique. Honestly, probably in between for both him and his platoon mate. You can tell he is platooned up. Um, this is an earlier game, as you can see, that this is like pre a bunch of fixes and stuff. Um, he is playing with fire right now, as he is kind of away from cover. And I mean solid cover. Um, and he's in a bush. And he's attempting to spot or shoot things he can't even see and no one is really actually spotting to be or he's not even really close enough to be excuse me within render range except that one vehicle right there will he be able to hit it no he will have to reposition in order to actually even get a shot on the vehicle as you can see the team composition the front line is more or less across the middle right there we can see that both teams, for the most part, are holding out, even though the team on the right flank is uh, does not have a whole lot of tanks, but it does seem to be a stalemate right now. So, once again, Gizmo is relocating to a different position, and by the looks of it, he is aware on the map that his teammates are making a withdrawal or are just, you know, losing and slowly getting pushed back. So Gizmo here has decided to position himself in a place to give him a good line of fire. Now, I don't really go back here when I am sniping. I tend to go back to where the arty is on, I think, the 5 or 6 line. I can't quite tell. And I would be over there, but this spot works well. I mean, we've all seen people back here, and it, it works. You are in an elevated position. You can get angles that you can see Gizmo has here. The one thing here that's coming up that I want to point out is that his platoon mate, I believe, is... Unfortunately, I cannot even tell. I on It might just be Gizmo here, but I am going to point out here that these already need to move. His team's already needs to move. 
Um, the fact that they're still sitting here and the enemy is within spotting range of them in the event they do fire or they might be detected right now. They, this should not have happened. Uh, Gizmo's artillery should have definitely pulled back uh, to at least where the one singular arty is on like the five, six, or four line, whichever one that is. It's amazing here how Gizmo is not spotted by the Object 268 version 5 after firing, but he is spotted by the 13105. A little odd. Now, of course, trying to shoot a light tank that is driving a little bit sporadically and bumpy like that, and you are unfamiliar with a, you know, with a vehicle, it is a little bit tricky. But he does manage to pull it off and take care of the 13105, allowing him to go unspotted again. Fortunately, here this is what he should have done after taking care of the 13105 and going unspotted. He should have moved like right away and relocated, as he is well within a danger close position. Apologies if you heard my phone. So he is now making the smart choice of pulling back. Simply fighting there with no armor is uh, definitely an important factor. At some point, uh, Gizmo's platoon mate died. Unfortunately, I could not figure out who his platoon mate was. Simply because this is all before the fixes. And uh, all I could tell was a little yellow badge on the top row <laughs> excuse me <laughs> so we're doing an excellent job of uh, taking care of targets of opportunity right here and he does a good job of staying near solid cover and backing up knowing right away that Artie may be going for him especially when he's paper and he is pretty much full health now see his team is losing I would like to point out that at, at least to my knowledge, he does not once in this replay pull out premium rounds. Not that the gun particularly needs it, but in this type of situation where it is a 2v5, I would in this situation be like, alright, I need every shot to count and I need every shot to pen. I'm going to switch to premium rounds. So, real off topic, real quick, he does a good job of actually going on the, eth the offensive and baiting in the object 2685 into going into an easy shot. He basically backed up, allowing making the version 5 think that he needs to, you know, to keep going, that he's reversing. And so the version 5 goes at full momentum in front of the grill, in front of Gizmo, and Gizmo just rever goes right back into drive. It drives in front of the 2685, not giving him a chance to get his gun, you know, slewed or even on target positioned for even a snapshot. Gizmo is ready and the version 5 was not. Could the tables have turned? Eh, 50-50 chance, but in this case, he did catch the version 5 off guard. Now he's making another smart move here of linking up with his teammate. A lot of times I do tend to see snipers kind of like, I'm going to sit at the back and snipe and support you that way, and most of the time it ends up being like they sit there at the same spot, don't do anything, and they just expect that the person that's trying to fight these tanks to draw them into a line of fire but the problem is there is a lack of communication and these teammates that are trying to work together or support each other cannot do that because they don't know where the line each other's lines of fire is fan really tricky fantastic nice shot right there taken on the Jaegeru I honestly upon watching this beforehand did not expect that to pen but yet it did so again, staying on the move, uh, trying to avoid Artie, he did take a shot earlier, splash damage, surprised he didn't get hit, had that been a direct hit, that might have been the end of the game. But he is doing now an aggressive play with the Grill 15, luckily avoids getting straight up blapped by the Jaegeru and manages to only take a track shot. But again, this is kind of a demonstration here that the Grill 15 is capable of being an offensive weapon. Um, I do say this in my How to Play of the Grill, if I remember that I covered this, that the vehicle is capable of playing offensively and almost kind of like a medium tank of sorts, um, but it does require a certain amount of skill or flexibility to do that. And for uh, Gizmo here, who doesn't have a whole lot of experience in this vehicle, is 
has at least enough knowledge about paper tanks to know that staying flexible and moving around a lot and getting angles constantly is much better than sitting in one spot. Now we're going to be kind of just sitting here for a little bit. Gizmo is doing a smart move of with the two enemy arties being platooned up and he doesn't exactly know where they are. He's kind of sitting here doing multiple things. One, he's waiting to see if the arty flees or moves this way to get into like a corner shotgun position or uh, is deciding to go on the attack. And the other thing that Gizmo is doing is he's, in a way, waiting for the mouse to at least be within the realm of supporting in the event that these two arties rush him at the same time. Now deciding that long enough wait, the enemy is not going to just roll up in front of his gun. He has decided that it's time to go a little bit on the offensive. So he's going to roll up and he's going to spot just over the ridge. This is another thing I probably would have actually just aimed in instead of, you know, letting, G uh, you know, whatever religious figure that you uh, are in Jesus take the wheel. There we go. That's that's World of Tanks religious figure right there, R N Jesus. You know, just let R N Jesus take the wheel with that. I probably would have just aimed in and, you know, had slightly more control over my uh, my gun. But it works. So, you know, no issue there. Again, it's another smart move of, all right, so he sat there, he got lit, The uh, he only spotted one, and after he took care of the one, he went back to solid cover. A smart move there, because the other arty might have been prepared to shoot him, or was uh, preparing to blind shot him. So again, smart move, went unspotted, went back, moved, and spotted the other arty, and took care of him. As you can see... It worked out for him with Gizmo being the MVP, and we will see here shortly just exactly how much damage he did, and if he did any assisted. <laughs> he does well over 5.5k damage, and he gets a Top Gun. Not a bad game in a uh, vehicle that a person has very little experience in, but congratulations to Gizmo. And that concludes today's video on the Map Awareness series. I'd like to thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this one, don't forget to subscribe. But until next time, this has been Darren of Watsi Academy.